my guys. What up, baby? How you doing, bro? Good to see you. I'm good, man. Ooh. Oh, this is loud. Oh, no, I didn't do the bench today. Yeah, just hold on for the front day. Maximizing my reps. I haven't heard. I got a, I know I have a, a, a test with him after this. But other than that, I'll be waiting for it. More uh, of course, uh, I watch my game after the center, Matt. He's a great center, uh, and of course, I would want to play for whoever gave me the shot. But I've definitely watched them, and their all line is definitely really good. Yes, sir. No, not tonight. Uh, I have a couple others tonight, but. Later on, I'll meet with them for a practice run. Sir? Uh, I met with a lot of people. Um, I have a lot of formal, like three formal interviews tonight that I'll be taking care of uh, with the Rams, Raiders, and the Vikings and later on. But I've met with a lot of teams informal wise um, Lions, Bears, Packers, a few others. Sir? Yes, sir. Oh, it was a great matchup. Uh, I felt like I had a great matchup against him during that game. He made a few plays on our O-line, but we definitely did a great job containing him. Uh, just to stop him, just to stop, make sure they don't get a lot of pass rush, a lot of run game stops against us, but that's what we did. Well, it was just to keep, keep containing him, get my hands on him quick and set him down when I needed to. Uh, definitely, Georgia prepare you definitely for the NFL just because of the schemes they run. They run a pro style scheme, spread whatever you want, and they definitely get a good job containing you, doing a good job in the run game and the pass game, preparing you for the NFL. And just to have those guys run behind me, it prepared me a lot just to know that I block for those guys. A lot of great running backs, and that's going to prepare me for the league. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I think I gave him a few pointers before that happens, but he definitely took it in his own hands and did what he had to do to get the Super Bowl win. I'm proud of all of my running backs. Uh, great coach. Sam Pittman is just the guy that you can count on on and off the field. He's a guy that you're gonna le you can lean on, and he's definitely did a great job teaching me, especially when I converted to O-line. He was the guy that I went to, taught me the structure, taught me technique. He did a good job with me. Elijah Holy, a tough running back. Somebody that's going to power. He, he's strong. He's efficient. He's consistent. And he's somebody that's going to work hard 24-7 on and off the field. He, you're always going to see him come in last, come in first, and that's the type of guy he is. Yeah, definitely. Some teams put me on the board. Some teams definitely just ask me a lot of questions. Um, but I've definitely done a great job handling myself as far as – making the plays right that they wanted me to draw up. Um, definitely pulling out the schemes that they had for me. I had corrected them and definitely done a great job handling what I had to. It is at first, but once you get to talking to them, it, it comes back to you. Football is football. It's just X's and O's, and that's what you get out of it. I'll definitely say Andrew Thomas. Uh, he's definitely stepped up. He was a leader when I was there. And I'm sure he's going to do a great job when he's taking over then, over now. Yes, I met with both of them, actually. Yes, sir. Nah, but it was definitely a great decision. Uh, I, I definitely take a, a lot of heat into that. Definitely coming from D-line. All lines is a hard transition, but it definitely worked out in my favor. Oh, no, nah, not definitely. I thought I was going to be the man on defense, but <laughs> it turns out that I just had to switch positions and, and make something out of it, and I'm here now. 
that was actually a switch when uh, Coach Pruitt and Coach Rick was there. So, but it worked out for my favor. Yes, sir. Uh, just like Georgia, Alabama, it's an SEC game. The SEC gets you prepared out of the way for the, for the league. They put you in the style that you know you're going to run in the league. And it showed us, it showed in in every conference, the SEC is always winning. So that's probably. Um, I had to give it to Missouri's David Beckner. He's pretty good. Uh, he's a guy that's just consistent. He comes out the ball. He, he does what he has to do. Definitely winning the Rose Bowl against Oklahoma, coming back from that deficit and definitely beating them in the Rose Bowl, going towards the Natty. Yeah. Of course, losing the National Championship. <laughs> you had to do that. But, of course, losing the National Championship. But, it's yeah. Mm -hmm. He actually didn't. Uh, I was just trying to be the man of defense and somebody who wanted to shine on defense, but it worked out. Um, I guess he was right switching the offense. Uh, definitely got still get a lot of criticism from that, and I take a lot of it. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's going to change tremendously. Of course, there's going to be a new head at, at center, but that's just something that they always prepare for. They always got great depth at O-line, great depth at every position. And that's just Georgia. They're going to be good with or without me. Uh, I'm sure Trey Hill, if anything. Um, Trey Hill, definitely, he's a great guy, and he's somebody that looked up to me and somebody that I had to teach along the way, playing beside me and playing behind me. Uh, definitely just just talking, mentoring me, talking to me, uh, getting my technique and everything right, telling me the, the ins and out, uh, definitely teaching my rights and wrongs, a lot of my wrongs, mistakes that I made, and just fixing those and being better in myself. Uh, it definitely helped out. Uh, it's a blessing, honestly. He's one of the great O-line coaches in the game, in the, in the league right now. He's definitely helped me follow my dreams, help me get the opportunity that I had. And I appreciate him for that. Oh yeah, they're just gonna mention them to me. They've heard of him, of course, and somebody that you really know the name already. So it's just somebody that you can just chime off of and just say what you have to say and give your opinion on them. Uh, definitely all of them really, um, but uh, the Lions has definitely sat me down and talked to me and ran through a lot of plays. And definitely it helped me learn the system, uh, what different teams, because each team has a different system. But just to see the system that they've thrown at me, it was pretty cool. Yes, I've spoken with the Chiefs also, and they're a great team. Uh, I actually have a guy from there that uh, who was at Georgia, Kanal. But, yeah, he's somebody that brought me up to them and basically gave me the opportunity to talk to them. Uh, the system of what it's going to be like in a league, uh, just the change of it, the uh, highest base. Like, first you have the collegiate level, and then they bless you with it, the NFL level, what's about to happen in, level, in that level. But they teach you a lot, get you ready, and prepare for that, for the league. Uh, I go both on both of them. He prepares us to, to always achieve what we want to achieve, and our goal was to go and try to win the Joe Moore Award. That just makes you a better offensive line when you have a goal to pursue. And he, that's what he does all the time. He gives you a goal that you want to pursue. He makes you a confident player, and you go try to strive or you go attack it.
Uh, just the change in the system. Uh, definitely when Coach Smart came in, he definitely set a, a system down and, and laid out a, a perfect example of what we need, the standard what we need to carry. And just from Coach Pittman to come in, he just came and set the, the league in the offensive line. He already had great offensive lines before and a great offensive lineman that came in the league. So it's just about pursuing and putting more out there. Uh, definitely got to set the turn. I did it against LSU, against White, and did it against him. You got to go get, go at the stronger players on the team. It's like you go at Quentin Williams. You got to set the tone and lay them out a few times just so you know that you're there. And that's just going to help you individually and let that you know that team's out there looking at you. And that's what I had to do. Appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, not too much mental. You just got to get over the name and just go and play your ball, finish all four quarters, like the standard you're supposed to carry. Uh, we didn't do that the past, past few years, but I'm sure they'll definitely do that in the future. You made the decision to play in the Sugar Bowl, even though you knew you were an NFL prospect. I know Ledbetter did too. What made you decide to play in the game where maybe other people decided not to play in the bowl game? Uh, just to finish with my team. Uh, you're not greater than the team, so I just wanted to finish with my team and – let them know that I'm here for them. I'm not going to let my whole line off. They've been looking at me to me the whole year, so why would I let them down at the at the finish of it? Even though we didn't make it to the playoffs, you still got to finish with your team. What's the with focus? I mean, I know there was disappointment in the selection. Maybe, but what's the issue with focus? Because I mean, definitely. Uh, of course, there was disappointment. Guys thought we should have been there, but at the end of the day, we had a job to do, and we didn't finish our job. It was definitely to finish all four quarters, definitely. Uh, of course, hit them first and come off strong. We did it the year before, and just like I said, just got to finish the whole four quarters. Uh, he got a great motor. He's going to attack. Uh, he's consistent on a daily basis. A strong player. Just contain him. Do what I have to do. Do my job. Because if I do my job, I know my whole line will be good. And that's what I did. I came out ready and prepared. I f watched them. I followed them on the film just to make sure because just in case we went up against them, that I know what I was facing. And I had a good game against them. Lamont, when did you see Jordan Davis start to turn the corner? And what do you think is ahead for him? He has a bright future. He's a strong guy, big guy. He can come off the ball. And he got moves on him. He just haven't seen it yet. But he's definitely going to be a guy to, to look at in the future. Uh, definitely a guy that you need to focus your eye on because he can bring it out at any time. He started when he was in camp. I had to go up against him. He helped me through practice when I had to face big guys. So it was definitely a, a, a blessing when he came on the team. How much did he improve from the beginning when you started going against him? A lot, a lot, definitely a lot. Uh, at first he was a little shaky. Of course, that's the freshman nerves. But once he started getting comfortable and, and the coaches started teaching him the right things, he definitely got comfortable in his skin and definitely showed out on the team when he had to. Um, I definitely think I am the best SEC center there is that played it in the SEC for now. Um, but I definitely got to get better at being consistent. Um, just my consistency, consistency, and that's probably it, to be honest. But that's definitely something I can show tomorrow when we go and do all these drills and show them my athleticism, show how I can move my hips and everything. How did you lift today? Oh, I didn't lift today. I'll, I'll do it at my pro day. Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely a lot. Uh, like I said, Georgia definitely sets an example and a standard where you have to play. Um, they map out how you're going to play in the league. And, and it's the SEC. You got to be prepared for a lot of things. Under the center, long snapping, everything. What they do at Georgia is definitely something that you can be ready for in the league. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. That's what I like to do a lot. Um, we didn't do much in the schemes, but my third, my first year when we was at guard, and that's when they definitely did a lot of pull schemes. We had the plays, but we did a lot of zone. That it didn't, 
if it works, why well, try anything different? But I can definitely move. I'm a guy that can move, and I'll show it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Just a lot of preparation and getting my mind ready for it. Uh, when we, for me, I like to prepare myself before everything even comes, see everything before it even comes. So as a center, that's what I like to do, um, just to get preparation and be prepared for everything. Tom Shaw in Orlando. Uh, definitely my athleticism that I can run. I got a good hip movement, good ankle flex, and that's about it. I definitely agree. Just because, like I said, the SEC, um, Georgia definitely teaches you things to prepare you for that level. It definitely gets your mind ready and your body ready for that type of level when you get there. And they bring out a lot of guys. They produce a lot of guys. And it's just about how they recruit. Uh, they do, do a lot of great things recruiting-wise. And that's about it, really. Not really. I try to focus on myself. I don't really try to focus on too many other players. Of course, I've, I've heard of the, the greats that, like Garrett Brad, Brad yeah, he, he's done some, some great things. Um, I haven't really picked up on him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't say we're getting overlooked. They choose the best that come here, and that's just how, how they lay it out. Um, but there's definitely going to be a lot of more guys that can be here because um, they have a lot of talent across their board, and that's just for them to show when they have their day. Versatility, of course. I can play center and guard. It doesn't really matter. Yes, sir. I don't think it's much of a big reaction. I think they will be more prepared uh, since they know what's going to happen with the schedule-wise. Of course, we usually like to play them later in the season, but just get ahead, get out of the way and go ahead and show the dogs what they're about. Go ahead and beat Georgia, Florida, Auburn, and all of them. It's a great thing for them to, to, to just showcase. I think it's a great opportunity, but... Uh, you always have the Georgia-Florida mix. Um, I think they'd rather keep it out at the Jacksonville Stadium and keep it like that, but that's not my choice to make. I, wherever they play, I, I'm sure Georgia will always come out with a win. <laughs> Sir? Not really. I follow them all. I, was, I grew up in Fayetteville, North Carolina, so I always looked at the Charlotte Panthers, and that's just my team that I always looked at, and that's about it. Oh, well, actually, when I was growing up for, for defense, I, wa- I wanted to be like uh, David Pollock, but that was never a thing that was going to come to mind, <laughs> of course, when I switched. Uh, but switching to O-line, I started to venture out and look at the other different players, like the Pouncey brothers, Kelsey, Matt from the Falcons, people like that. Yes, I have. Thank you. Oh, yeah, definitely.